Hi friends, welcome or welcome back. My name's Angel. Today we're gonna venture out to At Home. It is a decor store warehouse. It is huge. If you've ever been in one, I think it can be a little overwhelming. I like to come here when I have a couple of hours just to venture around, take my time, maybe have a cup of coffee because there's so much to see. I don't usually come here with something specific in mind because it is so big. I like to just come with an open mind and take a look at things and see if I am sparked by something that I see. So let's go in today, see if we find anything for our bathroom renovation or just something that we absolutely have to take home with us. So let's go shopping. The first area that I always like to check out when I get into the store is their floral department. At home, always has some really unique stems and I found a couple on this trip in their spring collection that I absolutely loved. This tulip was so realistic looking and had that real touch variety to it. It was from the Willow Crosley line. All of the stems that I have shown here are from that collection. This olive tree was an absolute stunner. The terracotta pot is perfect to just simply leave it in or put it in another pot for a little more height. I loved the variation in the leaves and the realistic look of the olive branch. It was 72 inches tall and for only $99, you really can't beat that. I loved the selection of floral prints and landscapes that they had at the store. It was extensive and such a huge variety. They also had a huge selection of some fantastic marble pieces like this scalloped dish, which would be great by a bed on a nightstand or in the bathroom to house your rings or necklaces or a watch. And additionally, I loved the collection of boxes that they had. These had almost a burl wood effect, and you'll see a little later that they had some beautiful checkered, very subtle checkered boxes that would be a great way to incorporate that new trend into the home this year. I found that I was really drawn to the Honey Bloom collection. These checkered boxes were a part of that, as well as this beautiful glass and brass box. It gave me a very vintage, old world European vibe that I am very, very much drawn to. Let's talk about this massive selection of candle holders. Everything from wrought iron to brass, marble, glass, wood, a fantastic selection.
this multi wick candle in the wood bowl was such a value. After burning the candle, you can use this container for a variety of decorative purposes. And if you think about the fact that you can get this candle and the dough bowl for $40, I've seen similar wooden bowls like this, even at Hobby Lobby 40% off for much more than the $40. Thanks for spending time with me today as we browsed around at home. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have one close to you, take time to just go by there, grab a coffee and browse around and take a look at all of their wonderful decor they have to offer. It is just a fantastic store if you have one close to you. Out of our trip today, the only thing that I purchased was this wonderful taper candle holder. I just couldn't pass it up. It's substantial. It's kind of a burnished antique gold and black, which if you've spent much time with me here on this channel, you know that I absolutely love to decorate with. So I hope that you found this interesting and entertaining. Remember, please like, comment, and subscribe, and even share this with a friend. Those simple acts are free, and they do so much to help my channel so that I can continue to bring this content to you. So until next week, remember, stay on the journey as we continue making our way home. Until next week, bye-bye.